In this short tutorial, we'll show you how to use the new data macro feature in Access 2010 to create an email based on some logic in your application. Here we've got a list of the 2010 Philadelphia Phillies roster, and we've got some forms and reports set up. What we're going to do is go into the table, and underneath the Table Tools menu, we're going to find the option for creating a data macro after a record is updated, and we just want to put some logic behind that update to show that after, let's say, a player exceeds a certain weight limit, we trigger an email. So we'll go ahead and use the expression builder, use the weight field, and let's say if the player exceeds 300 pounds, we want to take some action. And the specific action that we want to take based on that record being updated and the weight being more than 300 pounds is to send an email and the email is going to go to the club trainer to let them know that they need to go ahead and start working with this player. So a pretty simple example, but you, hopefully you can just use your imagination to see how else this could be used. Um, in the body of the email, we're going to pull in some variables from the record to personalize the context of the email. So we're actually going to put the player name in there. And we go ahead and save that data macro and then resync the access application with the server so once everything is synced up that logic will now apply not just to native access forms but also the web-based forms so we can go ahead and uh, at this point flip over to the browser and it's here from this browser-based form that we'll go ahead and change the weight of a particular player again we're just running an internet explorer and when we update that record, if you look in the top right hand corner, you'll see that uh, the record is updated, the change has been made, and we go ahead and flip over to our Gmail client, you can see that the email has been successfully delivered and the data macro has been invoked the way we'd expect.